there are only 28 veterinary schools in North America and Canada. Um, we're lucky to have a veterinary school in the state of Pennsylvania. The veterinary school and all its associated uh, research endeavors and background and things like that make it a, a, an exceptionally worthwhile investment into not just animal health within the state of Pennsylvania, but also implications for human health in the state of Pennsylvania. Well, one of the things you have to realize is that veterinary medicine is not just dog and cat medicine. That veterinary medicine is involved in food safety, uh, in animal welfare, uh, in research and development and teaching. Well, the, the point that you have to drive home and you have to tell everybody is that there only is one vet school in Pennsylvania. That somebody from Pittsburgh or from Western Pennsylvania, if they want to go to veterinary school, their, their best veterinary school to go to is the University of Pennsylvania that it is our regional veterinary school uh, and that it's important to support the school. You know, many, many of the practitioners from Pittsburgh went to school in Philadelphia and came back to Pittsburgh to practice, like myself. Uh, and it's, it's very, very critical that the, that the education for the veterinarians across the Commonwealth are all done at the University of Pennsylvania. And it, it is our school. Um, when I was just a first year vet student, um, one of the one of my professors, Dr. Otto, mentioned that she had this idea of starting a center to raise and train working dogs because she had been one of the veterinarians at the World Trade Center on September 11th looking after all of the search and rescue dogs there. And when I was a first year, she in one of my classes, she just talked about this idea of having a center to raise and train these dogs that are so desperately needed in our um, country. As the year progressed, I realized that this was something I really wanted to get involved in and that it was actually going to come to fruition while I was a student. And last, this past September, the Working Dog Center opened and it's become a place to raise and train dogs for detection work. And there's no other place like it in the country. It's serving as a research and training center for working dogs. Something that people don't realize, a lot of people think of vets as only uh, professionals who treat you know, their dogs and cats. And certainly domestic animals play an important role in our lives, companion animals. But veterinarians also are on the forefront of um, you know, treating epidemics of public health policy, of you know, agricultural medicine, and making sure the products that go to consumers are safe. And without sort of the funding and the support from the state, um, you know, veterinarians can't play those key roles that basically are keeping our community safe. Well, it's hard to overestimate the importance of veterinary medicine in human society and our public culture today. Uh, we're intensely, very deeply entwined with not only large animal industry and agriculture, but obviously companion animal medicine and small animals. Um, public health, human safety, public education, uh, daily companionship, uh, service dogs, uh, you, you go on, you name it. Veterinary medicine is intensely t tied to human culture and human living. And uh, we share this planet with animals and Penn Veterinary Medicine really trains properly and intensely uh, how to properly treat animals and uh, bring that relationship together stronger.